What about you? Welcome to Primary Lawns video. Today we're going to talk about spoon feeding, liquid feeding, how to get the most out of liquid feeding, what it is, the benefits to your lawn and why you should be doing it. Before we begin, let's get the grass cut. Right guys, now grass is cut, the only downside is it's really nice then, there's a lot of passing traffic going up and down the road, so I'm going to go and fill around the back of the house, we haven't been around there before, I'll see you around there. Just to give you guys a brief overview of some of the products I use on the lawn, now first up, last week we talked about the sulphate of ammonia, it says on the label actually to use it at 25 to 30 grams per square meter. So the thing is, whenever you put sulfate of ammonia into water, it's the plant's gonna get all that into one go. And if you put it on at a really high rate, the only thing you would do is scorch your grass. This jar here has sulfate of iron. And we get a lot of questions about this. And I see a lot of people pro probably overusing this. Sulfate of iron, I wouldn't use them alone any more than four times a year. Really good kill to kill the moss whenever we're scarifying, whenever we're aerating. Put that on, attack the moss, feed the lawn. Winter colour, fantastic. During the summer, you maybe want a nice green up, quick green up, some iron. I wouldn't be putting iron into every mix. The worms don't like it. The worms are a natural aerator in your soil. Whenever you put that on, you're going to take them away from your lawn. They're not going to like to be in your lawn. The question came up on my community group and guys were talking about seaweed so somebody was saying that they bought seaweed for a couple of pound off out of a cheap shop. What I would like to sort of say is that it sort of got me thinking about an orange and a, and a jar orange. I wonder how much vitamin C is in that and I wonder how much vitamin C is in that. So if you're buying a cheap seaweed, have a think to yourself how much good, how much seaweed are you actually, how much of those good properties are you getting into the, into the liquid. If you're going to buy seaweed, stick to some of the good stuff. We'll have the Symbio stuff here and I'll drop a link for an affiliate link where you can get 10% off for that. The Symbio shit, the CMS shit, so this stuff's really good if you want to get the humic acid and everything onto your lawn. Spring and autumn be the sort of times you'd think about it or put it into the compost tea. The compost tea is definitely part of the, the, part of the puzzle, as I call it. So you can put the likes of the CMS shit into it, you can put the seaweed into it. There's a lot of products you can put into it. Wedding agent I picked up off Amazon. We did a video, or this featured in a video. Wetting agents are really good because they're going to stop the lawn from drying out in the really dry spells. So as you get further into lawn care, if you want to really get the most out of it, you can work out exactly how much kilograms of nitrogen, etc. you're putting in your lawn every year. Whenever you start to use liquid product, you can build up a diary, what you put in and how well it works. And it can be really effective for building up your own specialized lawn care program just for your own lawn. And you can get some really good results out of it. So that's what a lot of 
green keepers and top green keepers would do is they would put stuff on, they record it, and they benchmark to see how well it's performed. Now you can do all that stuff yourself and it's it's really it's doing liquid feeds yourself if you're prepared to maybe get your hands dirty a little bit, you can have an absolutely fantastic lawn. That's what we've been doing out there and you can see the results from this. So and people ask me how often you should spray the lawns. Like the compost tea, you can nearly put that on every week. You can't put on you can't actually put on enough of it or you, you can't put on too much of it. The other products we would put on between every four and six weeks and we can watch it going green every time you cut your grass you're literally cutting it off but that's just a selection of some of the some of the stuff we use out in the lawn there and you can see the color in it it's all there for you we're going to show you now how we do the calculations a bag one bag of sulfate of ammonia weighs 25 kilos and that treats one hectare which is 10,000 square meters so to work out exactly how much you need per square meter we're going to put the knots on the end of the the kilos just to keep things to keep the decimal points right so we're going to say 25,000 divided by our square meter rate which is 10,000 so we we'll take our calculator and we'll go 25, 1, 2, 3, 25,000 divided by 10,000, which is our hectare rate, equals 2.5 grams per meter square. Now, if your lawn measured 100 square meters, you would multiply that figure times 100, which is 250 grams. So 2.5 grams times 100 square meters equals 250 grams. If you want to get more into your lawn care and you really want to work out how much nitrogen you're putting onto your lawn every year, this is a really good trick to learn. We'll have our, our lawn measures 100 square meters and we're putting on our 250 grams now, the bag of nitrogen we'll have is 21, 2100. That's generally what sulfate of ammonia is, is 2100. So if you want to work how much nitrogen you're putting on on this visit, because you might want to start tracking these numbers to get the most out of it, it's a really easy way to build up a really good program for your own lawn. So we're going to take our 250 grams and we're going to multiply that times 0.21. So and that equals 52 grams, 0.5 grams. So that equals 52.5 grams of nitrogen on, on this spray. Now, not to be confused with, that's not going into the, that's not going into the spare. What's going into the spare for 100 square meters is 250 grams, but that's the amount of actual nitrogen that you're putting onto the lawn. So that's just a little bonus tip for you guys at 21%. Now there's another important part of the puzzle for a 25 kilo bag goes into 600 liters of water. So again, folks, that's pretty easy to work out. We're gonna take our 600 and we're gonna divide it by 10,000. Now, if your lawn measured 100 square meters, you would multiply that times 100, you go times 100, and that would give you six liters. So it would be six liters of water for 100 meters. And that's a pretty easy guide to doing the water rate. 